In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a master page file and then look at the relationship between some of the sections on that master page and your normal pages. So to make a master page, well, I'm sorry, let's back up a little bit. I started with an empty website. I'm going to right click on the project and then say add a new item. And then I'm going to find the master page on here, say OK. And the name of the master page, this master page.master is fine, just leave it that but we don't want it to use a master page, so we'll uncheck this box. We'll say add, and this creates this master page.master that we see over here, and then in this section, in this source view, we see our master page. So you'll notice it has this programming directive, which doesn't look like HTML to you, and we'll talk about that later on in the quarter. Then it has a doc type, and we could change the doc type right now. It's 1.0 transitional, which is great. We could change it to strict if we wanted. And then this probably makes sense for those who had HTML, but here's the HTML start tag, the head tag, and the body tag. But within this, these parts probably look unfamiliar. So here's a content placeholder in the head and a second content placeholder down here in the body. And what these are for are these are reserved areas because when we build our normal pages, we're going to combine that content off the normal page with the layout from the master page. And this is where the custom stuff from each page will go. So things we want to go in the head will end up here. And things we want to end up in the body will end up here. So let's, rather than talking about it, let's go do this. So I'm going to come inside here and uh, within the form, I'm going to just add some text. So say this is a new page heading, you know, we put the header of the page stuff here. And so I'm going to take this and we'll actually switch design view and we'll make it big. We'll change the typeface to this uh, area on here and then we'll change the color to uh, green and I'm going to change the size and I'm going to make this 4M so we'll make it big and so this again this is on the master page so this will show up on every page and I can't really run my website now because I don't have any this master page again it's just a template so what I'm going to do is come and I'm sorry save contents off the master page then go and make a new item. This will be a web form and I'm going to call it default.aspx but now I'm going to say let's combine this with the master page. So when I say add, I say which master page, I only have the one, that's great. If you look at this then, th all the HTML, all that stuff is gone. We just have these kind of page directive at the top and then the two content placeholders. This first placeholder, anything I put inside here will be mapped. Well, let's look at here. It says my content placeholder ID is the head. And then if I look over here on the master page, up here, the content placeholder ID is head. So anything that I put in here, so if I put a meta tag with some content, comments, that type of thing on it, if I put it here in the default page, when I combine the two, anything inside this content pane will end up inside the content placeholder over here. Same thing, anything I put inside of here that's looking for the content placeholder ID, content placeholder 1. Well, if we look over here, the ID on this guy is content placeholder 1. So anything I put inside here when I actually display the page, this will end up inside of here. So a couple things here. We on the master page, we never put anything inside the content placeholders. This is a reserved area. This stuff is all going to come from our content pages. Same thing here. I never put anything inside here. And then on our content pages, we only put things inside these content panels because this again, this stuff gets mapped there. Watch if I try to put something here, it's going to throw an error and say you just can't have stuff hanging out here without anything. So we'll try to run this and see. It says you got some errors. So we'll say no and he comes back and says, hey, you know what? Only content controls can be here. So he's saying right here we've got a problem. 
So let's do this and do it correctly now. So we'll run this. I'm hitting Control F5 to run this. We see when I run the default page, it actually shows me this page heading from the master page and then this content from the content panel from the content page. So that's the basics of the master page. Again, to creating one and then what's going on with these content placeholders and content panels. So we'll look at, uh, come back and look at this a little bit more in the next tutorial.